Okay, so this is from a, a free response question, and I've seen so many of them now, and they're asking for the area bounded between two curves. So here's one. If you don't mind, because we're going to leave this page in a second to uh, look at the calculator, could you please um, stop the video for a second and copy the problem? So let R be the region in the first quadrant bounded by the graphs of Y equals uh, square root of X and Y equals um, X thirds. And what we're asked to do is find the area here. So we're going to try to find this area. So we're going to find the area. And what I did on this page, just to show it to you, I'm not going to stick with this. Um, I tried to do it this way. So what I did is, the first thing I did is I wanted to figure out where the two curves intersected. So what I did was, or what I did was this. What I did was I went to Menu, and I put Analyze Graph, and I wanted the intersection. Um, so it said lower bound here, so there's the lower bound. It means an x value less than the x value you think it's going to be, and then the upper bound is an x value higher. And it gave me this point again, 0, 0. I just want to see, show you how I got that. Then I went back and I did that again. And if you're asking me why you're doing that, because we are asked to find where um, the area bounded by. So if you look at that picture when that's not it, you're right. Let's take a look. So here's, so I want to find this other intersection point, that one right there. So I want to go to a little point to the left of it, x, y to the left of that. And then down here it says upper bound. Whoops, sorry, upper bound. And I'm just going to pick some value out here. And, of course, it gives me back this point nine three. So what I tried to do is I tried to take this integral right here. I tried to take this integral right here, but it didn't. I mean, it kind of worked because what I did was I took the integral of the first one, which was 17.7, .7, but you can see I was a little bit short there. So yeah, I'm a little bit off. And then I took the one on the bottom one. And then I was going to subtract it out because if you think about it, what we really want, what we really care about is this, isn't it? The area that we're truly looking for is this area in here, right? This is the area we really want, right? We, we don't need that other area. So what we want is the area under the red curve but over the other curve. So this is what I finally did. I was like, you know what? This is crazy. So, But I got this. I got these boundary points at 0, 9, right? So I want the integral, right? I want the integral, the definite integral, from 0 to 9, right? Because they intersect at 0, right? This 0 is that one. And at the point x is 9, so here, right? And then what you have to do is this, and it's really simple. It's really, really simple. You just figure out which curve is on top by graphing it, and we know that it happens to be that square root of x, right? That's on top, minus the stuff at the bottom, right? Because we don't want the stuff under this. We want the stuff between, so we want stuff over that. So minus x cubed, right? Of course, dx. So now what I'm going to do is this. I can try to do it this way, and I can. this is not a great way. This is great for the picture. So if you're taking the AP um, Calc exam AB, I would definitely do this and draw it out. You can definitely get your intersection points here, right? Uh, uh, here's another way you could, you could do this. Let's do it this way. This is just another idea for how you might do this. You might do this. You might actually put that curve in. So let's try that. Let's insert this curve. Let's insert this graph here, right? And what we want is we want square root of x, right? We want a square root of x curve, square root of x, right? Square root of x, right? Got to do something to get it out from underneath that radical. Minus control division x thirds. Look, I hope you guys are... You're probably just going, what the hell is he doing? But you got to get really good with your calculator. I mean, the better you become with, the faster you can do this, and the, the higher certainty you can get that you're right. So that's real weird. But look, it's weird, right? Because look, they intersect at the point at 0 and at 9, don't they? Okay? So now check this out. This is a, a curve of those two things together. Now we want the integral from 0 to 9. And watch what's going to happen here. I'm going to do that same thing. I'm going to go to... I'm going to go to menu. That's what you did, right? You go to menu, and it says analyze graph. Now I am going to take the integral. And lower bound here, right? Intersection point, right? Tell me I'm, I'm at the right place. Hit that. Drag it on over, drag it on over, drag it on over, drag it on over. Intersection point. Hit enter. 4.5, which is approximately the right answer. So your answer should be where it said find the area. Your answer would look like this. Your answer would look like this. I mean, if you provided this, because this was really quick, I think, but your answer could look like this. 
that the area of region R is equal to, and it is, it's equal to exactly the definite integral of square root of x minus, whoops, minus x thirds dx, which is approximately equal to 4.5. So all of this together should score you 9 out of 9 points on that free response question. Another way to do that really, really quickly, because we have the time anyway, is this. Could do this. Go back to your calculator and remember what you had. Calculator. Go to your menu button. So menu. Go to calculus. Right. Take the integral. Nice, right? And just type it in. Just exactly what you put on your page. Just to make sure you're right. So you choose your method, but this method will work just as well. Nine of now we're going to open this joint up of square root of x. We're going to remember to get outside of that minus control division x. Make sure, right, follow along with your calculator and make sure it's doing it the way you want. dx, right, isn't that what you wrote? And is equal to, is equal to uh, 9 halves. I wonder if it is perfect. It may be perfect. So 9 halves control. Uh, vision. Uh, what I did here is I hit the control, and if you see in the blue right there, it has that approximation sign, and it will rewrite a fraction this way. Either way is correct. So uh, just remember what I think is really, really significant is that when you're doing this stuff, that you're showing your evidence. Even though you're allowed to use your calculator, your argument cannot be, I used my calculator. You have to show them this work. The graph would be good, showing the points of intersection. This can be figured out algebraically. It's not super tough. You get one extraneous answer, but... Um, and then look, it says a result obtained using approx uh, approximate mathematics. That just tells us this bit. I'm sorry. Um, okay, I think you guys are in good shape. Good work.